What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to factory reset a laptop that has either Windows 8, Windows 8.1, or Windows 10. Now Windows 10 will look slightly different, today I'm going to be showing you guys on a Windows 8 laptop, but it's basically the same steps. Now this is different than any of the videos I usually record, that whenever I'm showing you guys how to do something on the laptop, because as you guys can see, I'm not recording the screen. The reason for that is because I'm factory resetting it. I'm not going to be able to keep the footage that I am screen recording. Makes sense to me. I just wanted to mention that for a video. So I'm going to try my best here. I'm going to try to actually move this a little bit closer. So you guys can see the screen a little bit better. There, I think that's the best I can get it right now with this current setup. So what you're going to want to do, this is Windows 8 laptop, it is basically the same thing on a Windows 10. The only difference, Windows 10, you're going to have the search bar down here, and you can actually search exactly where we're going to go. And since we are on Windows 8, so I'm going to be showing you on here. So Windows 8, you will just have to go over to the right hand corner and go down to settings. And this, you're going to want to go into the control panel. Now within your control panel, you're just going to want to click on review your computer's status. And on this, you're going to go and find the recovery option. Now, if you're using Windows 10 to factory reset, and that's what you're factory resetting on, all you need to do is type in the search bar in the bottom, recovery, and you should be able to get to where we are. So if you're experiencing problems with your PC, you can refresh it. That's what you're going to want to click. And it's going to open up your PC settings. That is what you're going to want to do. You can either type in your recovery on Windows 10 in the corner, or you can type in PC settings and you should be brought to a similar screen. So it automatically puts us under general. That's exactly where we want to be. If it's under personalized or users, just click general. It automatically puts us here. And you're going to scroll to the bottom. And it's going to be the second last option here, which says remove everything and re reinstall Windows. If you want to recycle your PC or start over completely, you can reset it to its factory settings. That's what I'm going to be selecting today. This is my old laptop. I plan on um, selling it or donating it, whatever it might come first, but I need to factory reset it. And it's just going to tell you this is what's going to happen. All of your personal files and apps will be removed and it's going to be reverted back to the defaults. So this should be common sense, but some people don't realize until they do it. Take off and back up any files that you want to save prior to factory resetting because it wipes out your laptop. A lot of people do not do that. So if you're ready, you hit next and you let it load. Now, this I might have to forward and just cut out this time just because of it might take a while it might not we will see shortly here but i'll let you guys know exactly how long it takes so that took less than two minutes and it's going to give you the two options of what you want to do and it says do you want to fully clean your drive and then it says um the two options here that you can click just remove my files. This will only take a few minutes. That will just take off your personal stuff. But if you're having a problem with your laptop or you are factory resetting it because you plan on selling it, let's say you got a new laptop or you no longer want to use this one, you're going to do the second option. And that's the one I take. Now it even tells you this will take much more time. So that is the one I'm going to be doing today. This will remove all of your personal files and apps, it'll restore the PC to its defaults. And yeah, so that's exactly what I want to do. That's factory resetting your laptop. So I'm gonna hit reset. Now it should be in the process, there it goes. Now it is restarting. And this, like it said, this is what can take a lot of time. So like I said a minute ago, I'm going to probably cut out all this time just so it's not a really long and boring video, but I'll let you guys know exactly at the end, whenever this process is done, exactly how long it took. 
So that honestly just took a couple of seconds just to get from the restarting screen to the Toshiba screen. Now it's going to say it's preparing here and it's probably going to do the same exact thing again. So it should probably come up to another screen and then it should eventually go back to the Toshiba screen whenever it is almost done. So here we go. It now says 0%. It is resetting. And like I said, it can take a while. So I'll just come back in a minute whenever it is done. Okay, so that is taking a lot longer than I wanted it to. I wanted to show you guys step by step on how to factory reset a laptop using Windows 8, 8.1 or Windows 10. But it is taking so long because factory resetting a laptop takes a long time. But basically what it's going to do, it's going to go to about 30 to 50% on that black screen you guys seen. Then it's going to come up again with the white screen or the blue screen and then it will go to a black screen and at that point you're going to think to yourself that it's turning off but it's not. It's just basically doing some more of the steps internally and then it's going to come back to the Toshiba logo screen or whatever make your laptop is and it is going to basically continue going until it is at 100% reset at which point it's going to start asking you to put in the information as if you're just buying the laptop brand new. So that is how you factory reset a laptop using Windows 8, 8.1 or Windows 10. I did show you guys on a Windows 8, but a Windows 10 is basically going to be the very same steps, except it's gonna look a little bit different. Of course, navigating Windows 10 versus Windows 8 is a huge difference. Instead of going to the right hand corner and going to your settings, there's a search bar where you can either type in recovery to get to where we were on this video, or you can type in PC settings to get to the same spot. So that's what I would do if you're trying to do this on a Windows 10. If you're doing it on Windows 8 or 8.1, just follow exactly what I did in this video and you can factory reset your laptop. I hope this has helped you guys out. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.